Hi guys, welcome back to another video of our course Intent Automation with Cypress. And in this video, we are going to talk about Cypress new changes happening at the moment and the release of the new Cypress Studio. I mean, I'm pretty excited to see this Cypress Studio coming in after a long time because Cypress didn't really actually had any uh, record and playback option all these days. I mean, you could able to do uh, a uh, identification of element from the Cypress dashboard. Uh, you can go and check it out how it's actually working, all those stuff, but it doesn't really give you a uh, a way to record the action that you could actually perform uh, in other tools. For example, in Playwright, you have a tool called as Playwright uh, CLI, where you could actually record and uh, perform some action. Similarly, in Selenium, there is something called a Selenium IDE and all other testing tools actually has an inbuilt recorder or record and playback tool. Whereas in Cypress, you don't really have that option. And finally, after like three, four years of the launch of Cypress, finally there is a uh, feature which actually does this record and playback action for you. I mean, this is pretty cool to see it's, uh, it's finally there and we're gonna see how the Cypress Studio is gonna be working. By the way, the Cypress Studio is still in an experimental stage. It is not out yet, like fully featured. If you find any bugs, then probably it is pretty acceptable at the point of time because it is an experimental feature and you may find some glitches. I mean, I'm trying this uh, this feature for a long time right now, but I don't really see any uh, bugs so far, but I could uh, potentially uh, see some error if I'm gonna use this feature extensively. I mean, we do know how to code these uh, things. I mean, we don't really have to use the, play, uh, the record and playback option, but we can see how it actually works. So I'm just gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you how it actually works. So for using the Cypress Studio, you should be in the version 6.3.0 uh, and you can see that this is the major feature that they have released this time. The Cypress Studio's uh, release, uh, which is added in the 6.3.0 and uh, there is also some options to uh, the test files download in the Cypress without the download prompt displaying. And this is another feature which uh, community was asking for a long time. Now they have an option for you. You can also configure where the download folders should be within your project or within outside of the project, something like that. So you can uh, do that as well. So we'll first see the Cypress Studio in this video and we'll see how it actually works. So for that, I have already downloaded the source code from our course, end-to-end uh, -end test automation in Cypress. Uh, and you can see that the package which I'm using is quite old, right? It's in 4.6 at the moment. It is really, really older. So we should upgrade all these packages to the latest and the greatest of everything so that we could actually potentially use all these uh, libraries to the latest version. So you can see once I do this control space, we get the uh, latest version coming up for us uh, pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna do that. I have already did everything uh, in my other window though. So I'm just gonna copy paste to save some uh, time. And it's gonna be exactly the same thing that you can actually do uh, by yourself by doing a control space over there. That's it. So this is the uh, uh, latest packages. I'm just gonna go to the integrated terminal and I'm gonna do an NPM install, which is gonna install the latest version of Cypress for us and all the packages that we have been using in this course for a long time. And once it is there for us, we can then start uh, using within our uh, code and we can see uh, how the studio is gonna be working. And if you go to the change log while this is happening, uh, uh, there is this option called as experimental studio attribute to, to be added within our configuration, which is available on the cypress.json file. So we need to add this experimental studio uh, attribute to our configuration. So this way it is gonna enable it for us. So I'm not gonna do it at the moment, like we'll first try to see without adding this attribute, how the studio is gonna look like, and then after adding how it's gonna look like. So we'll check out that. All right, the installation is done right now. So I'm just going to do an npx uh, cypress open. So we know that this is the same command uh, to open the cypress uh, dashboard. Uh, so it's currently opened over here and it is scanning for all the test coming through. Uh, and this is the EA app. I mean, these are the tests that we have written and this is the EA app dot spec dot uh, js file which i'm trying to execute and these 
execution is going to be pretty much exactly the same like all these days we have been executing right i mean it just opens the cypress dashboard it navigates to the app performs the action uh, we can see uh, the time machine uh, concept and all those things that's all that's all pretty good uh, but now we're going to see how the same thing is going to work uh, with the record and playback option in the cypress studio uh, so I think it's going to fail because we have added Prashant SSS, which is quite wrong. We have to change that code. I'm going to stop this guy and I'm going to go to the Cypress integration and examples on the EA app dot spec. I'm going to remove this triple S I'm gonna save this. Uh, and what I'm going to do in the Cypress dot JSON file, this one I'm gonna add the experimental option which we have over here uh, which is gonna be the experimental studio so I'm just gonna go paste this guy oops and I'm gonna say true that's it so once this is enabled this time if we try to run the npx cypress open we should have the experimental option coming through for us as well. Um, so hopefully we'll see how it looks like. There you go. It looks pretty much exactly the same. There is no difference on that. But the change comes in once we start this eaapp.spec.js file. Uh, so you can see that it's currently executing, just opening the test uh, and it's running the test for us. Get the test to execute completely. Uh, and there you go. The test has got passed. But now, if you just hover all the way to the top of this uh, this test over here, you can see that there is an uh, option coming like add new test. So this is new. So this is the feature which I was talking about. It's new, which is not there before and is available for us right now. So if I click this guy, the add new test, and you can see that it is gonna perform the before option for us, like logging into the app, and navigating all the way to the home page. So it is doing that for us, like before option. And then it's gonna create an it block, which is gonna have a new test that we are gonna be recording this time. I mean, recording this time. You can see that this option called interact with your site to add test commands. And there are some available commands coming through. So if you click this available commands, you can see there is something called a site.check, site.click, site.select, type and uncheck. So these are the uh, five commands which is select, uh, which is available for us at the moment uh, in the Cypress Studio for us to be recorded. And if there is a new option like hover or probably if you're gonna perform some sort of cookie adding or uh, those things will not work at the moment. But yeah, maybe add it uh, in later point of time. Uh, and then if I'm just gonna go to the employee list and then I'm gonna go to edit and over here, I'm gonna change this to 300. I'm gonna save uh, and I'm gonna go to the employee details probably, manage user uh, and about home and log off. You can see that I perform so many operation right now and once it is performed all these things are coming through for us over here uh, and I can also delete the command which is selected over here like an extra click or something like that if I want to and then I can save these commands as a new test so the new test is going to be recorded uh, code or something like that I'm just going to generate this test name that's it and then the test is going to execute this time but I think the test is going to fail because uh, we are just doing a before option. Uh, but you can see that the record option that we have performed is actually by clicking the uh, employee list. Uh, and uh, we have only written the before tag in our code. It's not uh, before each, something like that. So the test is going to fail and which is all right. I mean, I, I will tell you what I really mean. So let me stop this test completely. And if I go to the EA... Now, let me just stop this guy as well. Let me go to the EA app spec.js. Uh, and if you just scroll down, you can see that this is the generated code coming in for us. Yeah, which is cool. But you can see that we actually are running this test, assuming that the uh, before is going to be executing for us but what's happening is this is just a before option not the before each option like it's not going to do the login for us every time what it is going to do so we need to somehow call this what is called as a before each 
option. Uh, this is something but a hook probably. And once we do that, and once I try to run the test once again, sorry, Cypress open, uh, it should able to run the test. So this is the record and playback feature, guys. This is pretty nice, pretty neat, and it does all the recording for us. All sort of operations are coming. And again, uh, currently there are only five commands being supported as I showed you on the, uh, on the UI. But later on, probably the Cypress team is going to add some other way to store the alias and stuff like XHR recording probably. But at the moment, we don't really have those options. But yes, this recording playback is working as expected. And you can see that now it's trying to enter the username and password and it's performing the record uh, recorded code operation as well for us, which is quite cool. That's it, guys. This is what is the Cypress Studio. Looks pretty good, pretty interesting. And I think uh, it is working pretty much as expected. Uh, but I'm still hoping to see the new feature of uh, having a the XHR recording or storing the cookies or storing uh, the state information uh, and, and supporting the download uh, file options uh, and working with hovers and many different commands probably. Thank you once again for watching this video and meet you in the next one.